Good morning. My name is Julia Bello Bravo. I am assistant professor at Michigan State University and a co-founder and co-director of Scientific Animation Without Borders, which has as part of its mission to make life-changing educational knowledge available to everyone, but especially to the poorest people on the planet. One way to do this is by empowering local youth to have impact in their communities through the power of the cell phones that they have right in their back pocket. So one of the most critical things we have seen at Suabo is how important it is to communicate with people in the language they feel most comfortable with. It seems obvious, but it usually takes more work, means you are not using your most comfortable language. Spanish is my first language and adds complexity to you want to try to scale it across the widest diversity of people and across the widest area, especially on a continent like Africa, which has six major language families and as many as 2,000 living languages in use right now by more than one billion people. At present, there are two million NGOs worldwide with a significant number of them hoping to deliver life-changing, life-critical information and knowledge who are living, to people who are living on less than $3 a day, are fluent in local languages, but otherwise technologically or linguistically low or non-literate, are talent but live in a geographically remote, rural and isolated areas, and are willing to help themselves, but often face systematic social inequalities due to poverty, gender, age, ethnic, and other barriers. Many of the 10 million NGOs have the will and the resources that could deliver, that could deliver educational content for these people. We can think of them as knowledge retailers but often their solution don't reach the people that they need this the most. Why? Uh, the most recurrent challenge is to make sure that everyone who needs this changing information has access to it. We, uh, this is obvious, right? But like Alfred North once noted, it requires a very unusual mind to undertake the analysis of the obvious. Every day now in Africa, internet and cell phone are expanding. Mobile phone subscription are skyrocketing. If you want to really cast effectively deliver content to the widest number of people in Africa or in any other place, make sure how to do on cell phones because more and more cell phones are everywhere and people know how to use them. And if they don't, our research shows that people much more quickly learn how to download a video on a smartphone and how to watch a video than any other digital interfaces. Just be sure to deliver your message in a language people are most comfortable with. My organization, Scientific Animation Without Borders, create educational content translate into local languages and deploy through, for, through cell phones. We call our approach mobile ESD videos, mobile education for sustainable development. Recent research done in Mozambique found an 89% solution adoption after a mobile ESD video training was done while two more studies done in Mozambique found no statistical correlation between educational level and increased learning gains. Any of our videos can provide a solution adoption and education to people, to the widest number of people in Africa or in any other place. Also, you know, all of our videos can be used by these 10 million NGOs worldwide in order to help them to deliver changing life critical information and knowledge to the widest diverse people. But that is the part. 
Suabo also directly engaged African youth as NGOs of one, able to bring this life-changing knowledge to their communities. All of our videos are free, easily accessible from the internet with a smartphone, and can be shared with other mobile phones through technology that is very common in Africa and in other places. That means that everybody with a smartphone can access our videos, can share our videos, and can provide this critical changing knowledge to people that live in rural areas and don't have as, as access to this information. I want to tell you about three different ways youth can become an NGO of one with the cell phone that they have right in their back packet. Packet, sorry. So one way is by taking this life-changing knowledge directly into the field. In West Africa, an NGO of one did training to 517 farmers, mostly women, on how to dry um, cowpea beans utilization technique. And another training was how to create a natural insecticide using neem seed that come from neem trees. And since the, the trees needed to make this natural insecticide were not available in the area, farmers were inspired to start a tree planting project. And you can see this powerful picture here, the children carrying the trees to plant. And you can see right, this is the women doing the solarization technique. So 12 of these women also share these mobile ESD videos with each other as well. But not just that, but women also that the NGO of one have worked with create a women association with a mission statement to improve cowpea beans production and access to local markets farmers not otherwise targeted for international and not otherwise being able to get this training and this, this information that is very critical for their life changing. So um, the example I want to talk about of one can do is a translator. Maybe you already have noticed that the rich mobile ESG videos stop whenever the local language changes. So sometimes, you know, it is the, re, the, the uh, next door, the language. Sometimes, next read over. All of our Swabo videos can be translated into local languages. But, you know, sometimes we are talking about scientifically validated knowledge. And sometimes there are not local words that translate this scientific knowledge. Like, for example, there are not local words that translate pesticide. So we find a translator that speaks the local languages. Translator have to make culturally acceptable decisions about how to translate this information that makes sense to local communities that local people will understand. This is why um, we encourage university students with a background in the topic to be translated to, who also speak the local language, of course, to translate these videos and provide the most critical steps for these people living in rural areas that they, that they don't have access to information and knowledge. These NGOs of one increase access in rural areas but urban areas also need NGOs of one. In Mega County, Kenya, 14 local youth students create an anti-malaria sun. They were inspired by a malaria prevention video. And I want you to listen. Like one student said, music 
can reach all audiences, educated and non-educated, able and disabled. Music is understood by people in local communities. Let's make this world a better place to live. I am not here today to provide evidence of my program of research or SUABO, but to bear witness with you about the amazing things that these people have done for their communities and the world as well. I want to share with you about these NGOs of one, not just for how they inspire me, but also to inspire you to become an NGO of one in your own community and the world as well. Thank you.